Hey, this is Badu from Luther Brookdale Toyota. I'm here to talk to you today about the 2019 Toyota Camry. Now, some of you may know 2018 was a complete redesign going into the eighth generation for the Camry. And on that year, Toyota did a lot of new, um, starting from the ground up, they've actually have an all new frame that we've been using that changes the driving dynamics greatly. We lowered the center of gravity, allowed us to actually have a car with very little body roll into the corners and a smoother and quieter ride as well. So based on what you're looking for, the LE and XLE on the smoother side, SE and XSE on the sportier side of the range. Now for 2019, Toyota made a few additions. So standard in this vehicle is now Safety Connect. So at the push of a button, I can be connected all year round to Toyota's people if I ever need any help, if there's an emergency. If any airbag deploys, they'll come on right away and see if they can send help my way. Um, so a great safety feature that's standard. It also has Wi-Fi capability in the whole lineup. So you can sign up and have your car be a hotspot for up to five devices in the vehicle. Now a couple of other things that were added, um, the Apple CarPlay, so anyone with an iPhone, you actually have the ability to have Apple authorized apps just show up straight onto the head unit and you can use your own maps, you can see your own uh, uh, navigation system and so on, along with your music player. Now it also has what's new in this class is the Amazon Alexa integration. This is really cool because it allows me now to have a smartwatch, for example, to use certain features, but I can just be at home and say, hey Alexa, go ahead and start my Camry. Um, run into the shower, get ready, my car has been running. I can check my fuel level, I can see if my doors are unlocked, um, and the Alexa will actually give me all that feedback. So a lot of things you can do um, that were added going into 19. Now mechanically, it remained the same. We have a 2.5 liter V6 and a three, I'm sorry, 2.5 liter four cylinder and a 3.5 liter V6. Um, great amounts of power, more than the last generation and even better gas mileage. And don't forget, we have a hybrid model that will get you up to 50 miles per gallon. Again, Prius territory out of a mid-size sedan. Um, all these gas engines run with an eight-speed automatic, really smooth, very quiet on the shifting. You can hardly tell. Um, so mechanically, it's just been an awesome vehicle. Now style-wise, we also retain the aggressive styling here for the SE and the XSE. The XSE model adding a little bit more of the LED strips um, along with the XLE, but you can definitely tell right away this is a very sporty vehicle. Um, Coming around the corner to it actually also gives us a very different stance um, with the different wheel packages. So the L, L, E, XLE and so on all have their own unique wheels. This particular one is a little bit larger. We can get up to a 19 inch rim on the XSE model and uh, it varies. You have that black and silver uh, finish to it. Now the XSE is going to have the same amount of interior space but a little bit more of the luxury features. Notice we have the power passenger seat here, um, six way at that, um, that leather wrap dash and all these little accents that make it look very, very sporty. Um, the seats with that two tone, so it's not a very boring all black throughout. And I'll show you a few more about the electronics in this vehicle. Now for a mid-size sedan, you're getting a lot of room, uh, 42, 42 inches of legroom in the front and up to 38 inches in the back. So I can have adults, um, four or five adults in here very, very comfortably. Now coming around to the back here, I think this is another home run for Toyota. Um, the XSE model is just taking that sporty and bringing it all the way around. You're gonna see here that quad tipped exhaust. You're gonna see the diffusers, right? The bumper has been designed to really give you that sporty look and feel to it. Um, it sounds great as well. Uh, very good size trunk. Well, you know, so if you wanna carry your golf clubs and things like that on a trip, not a problem at all. But I'm gonna take you on the inside, show you a few more of those features, and then we'll go from there. Now the 2019 Toyota Camry actually looks very similar on the inside to the uh, 2018 models, but I'm gonna go over a few things here that just make it really stand out. Um, all these models here are going to have, like I mentioned that safety connect earlier. So at the push of a button here, I can be in contact with uh, help to get me directions and so on. And based on the radio you pick, they can actually even find a particular address and beam it straight into my radio and uh, complete the directions from there. Uh, but like I said, if an airbag were to ever deploy, they'll come on right away and make sure that I am okay. Um, auto dimming mirror here, 
with the garage door open and directly behind it we have the camera that's reading the lane markers to make sure that I stay in between. Now take a look at the screen here. So it's a massive screen, it's actually um, a touch screen, I can touch any one of these sides and it goes into a full screen and that's my navigation uh, as well as all of my infotainment unit. Um, very easy to navigate and also very easy to customize. This is a home screen where I can just kind of like on my tablet pick and see multiple bits of information at once. Toyota makes it very easy to use with big buttons and also the climate control being a separate area so I can make the adjustments very easily um, and so would the front passenger as well. Now right below that we have the Qi wireless charger and op opening up to more storage. So if your phone is capable of it, you can use the regular power outlets or just use the wireless charging and not have any cables running through here. Um, shifter, eight speed automatic. But right behind it here, we have the ability to adjust the behavior of the car by going through eco, normal and sport. Now each one of them is going to change my uh, my acceleration as well as how the steering is going to work to give me that type of experience I want. In Eco, obviously, we're going to slow down the throttle a little bit to give me better gas mileage. Um, and then in Sport, we're going to go the opposite way, make the throttle response more aggressive and then change the steering a little bit more to give me that quick reaction. And Normal, obviously, will sit right in between the two. Now this particular car also comes with our um, electronic parking brake, so it's not a lever anymore. At a push of a button, I can engage the parking brake, and it has a function that if I were to engage it every time I put it in park, it automatically goes into uh, engaging that uh, electronic parking brake. I can also use that to hold the vehicle on a hill, um, just uh, in between changing gears. Now this steering wheel at this level, <clears throat> excuse me, is all leather wrapped, so it's a very nice feel to it. And I have the paddle shifters on the sportier models here directly behind it. A lot of controls right on the steering wheel, very easy to use, my cruise control, my um, driver electronic aids, um, and then the phone and radio controls on this side. All this information is gonna show up on a seven inch screen directly behind, uh, in between the gauges here. And this is very customizable too, so a lot of these features I can turn on and off and keep cycling through what kind of information I want to see as I'm driving from gas mileage speedometer as well as again the driver aids, radio, navigation and so on. Um, so this 2019 Camry continues to give me all the value that we saw in the 2018 models. You're going to get a great drive, you're going to get sport if that's what you're after, SE, XSE and then luxury will be in the LE and XLE. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm Badu from Brookdale Toyota. Thank you for watching.